Okay, we're back for another uh, <clears throat> another match here. Mono Black Control, Pauper. This is Matt with Just for Fun. This is kind of a rough hand. Our Pauper players have all been polite um, so far. Uh, this is kind of a sketchy keep. Um, but two draw spells is nice. If we're playing against Delver, we're just screwed. We're just dead with this hand. So <coughs> maybe this is a mistake, but I'm going to save the bog since we have enough lands. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I know that's probably really, really annoying into the mic. I'm sorry. Okay. Tron. That's not bad. That is quite dirtily so I'm happy to see that on the other side um, hopefully we can draw into some discard because that will be very effective against that deck to slow him down okay more swamps are not really what we what we need here at this point We do have an oubliette for his, uh, you know, Marauder or whatever else he plays. Okay. What's he got going on here? Cycle the star for something? No, map. Okay. So he will have a complete Tron next turn. Things to consider. Okay. Preordain. Not sure you need that in that deck. There is a like a mono blue version as opposed to five, but Chromatic Star makes me think he's playing the normal five color version. Preordain seems loose in that deck. Spectre, nice. Okay. So now it's a threat that needs to be answered. And he's going to have to discard something here. Kervix Torch. Which... Rolling Thunder seems so much better to me because you can also use it as a Wrath. Not just the uh, way to win. Okay. Fetch out your mine. Witch taps for two. Ew! Ew! Unmatching Tron lands! Ew! Does that bother anyone else? <laughs> now we see if he's playing stirrings instead of crop rotation, which I also feel is a mistake, but nope. Either way, he doesn't have it there. Rats you. Probably getting a little annoyed over there. I know discard frustrates me. It's not fun to play against. Mole Drifter, nice! Nice! That's like he discarded three, really, you know? Okay, alright, now we're drawing into ways to end the game. So we can go Grey Merchant into Corrupt, and that's. You know, with the creature damage on the board, that's probably enough. So, <laughs> setting up for turn six or here with a control deck, that seems pretty good. Uh, 
I don't know if we board out removal or what against him. St certainly don't want wrench mind. Duress seems like it'd be okay. <coughs> but there's a lot of cantropy kind of BS in there. Not hot on crypt rats, obviously. Ooh, main deck electricery. Ooh, okay, well that slows us down a lot. Any any pulled a grotto too. That's a big game for him. There's the mall drifter. He's going to drift in the mall. Um okay, I'm gonna bog him. Like I don't play Kurus in that deck, but you know. It's a card, it's legal, so you know. Um especially because here I'm going to be casting Oubliette, so I don't think he plays main deck enchantment removal like I don't. So I think that'll be good to go. Um dude, you got to you got to fix this. This is disgusting. They should all be the same <laughs> set. <laughs> that drives me crazy. Um <coughs> Just being OCD, like seriously, but but anyway, yeah. So that keeps him from hitting us with the Mall Drifter, and it adds to devotion for our Gray Merchant. Um, gets us just that that much closer to killing him. Okay. Opponent notably taking twice as long as us. I mean, that deck does have a lot of decisions. There's a lot of play to it. That seems not right. Okay. Red. Eh. Build is a little different. Okay. Burn me for an irrelevant amount. I mean, I guess if your plan is to just follow that up with more burn. So <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so one and seven, eight. Well, if he has another Tron land, he could burn me out fully. But he already p discarded one. He played the second. I'm not sure if he's playing all four and what are the odds of him having it. The answer to that is they always have it. So... Maybe I won't get greedy. Let's just uh let's just great merchant now. Cause rats is kind of futile. I mean they, they have a lot of draw spells. At least here this keeps us out of lethal. Cause I'd feel feel pretty silly if he just burned us out next turn. Alright, so that makes things look a lot different. And this corrupt is going to be pretty big. I mean, that's the kind of deck that doesn't mind being on the back foot, but. 
who ate a little are corruptibly big enough to take out a crusher, <laughs> which would be pretty cool. If we can live that long. Yeah, if he casts it now, we're, we're in trouble unless we draw a removal spell, of which there are about 12 left in the deck, I would say. It's not, not terribly horrified. Okay, six. What is that? It's a seven mana six six. What? Dude. What are you? <laughs> Your build is a little off. Like, um. I'm not hating. I mean, maybe there's a plan with that thing, but. I'm I'm not seeing it. So, you know, PM me after. Um hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on YouTube, post in the comments. I will talk to you. I will give you my list. Um not that I'm the all-knowing and powerful, but I do think my list is a little bit a little bit better than yours. N no offense, of course. I just think it's a little bit more fleshed out. That, like, I'm not sure why you'd play this over Fangren Marauder or U Ulamog's Crusher, right? Um, if I can pick up my merchant with Shinobi. <laughs> That's going to be insane. Usually in that deck, you're playing Firebolt. So, um, you know, instant speed removal isn't the best thing. Um, Ephemeron, okay. I mean, that sort of makes more sense. It's a decent threat. I mean, it's going to hold me back now unless I draw something else but let's see if he sacks the star here just to cycle it has he got another preordain yeah Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, better to be lucky than good, right? Okay. So our life total is beyond safe. Opponent hasn't outdrawn us by as much as he should with that deck. And we've got these nice cards in our hand. You know, our clock is kind of the issue right now, but that could turn a corner. You gonna just drop another bomb? Okay, Mole Drifter. That's that's gonna help him out a lot. Although I don't see why you wouldn't have mapped first. You know, add more mana to the equation, and like avoided having natural draws of of the lands with Mole Drifter. Like mapping for an untapped tower drop is a positive mana and a thin. So <coughs> sequencing, minor thing, but. What did he grab with the second one? Another tower. <laughs> Man. Just top decking like a master. I have to say, I, I did get lucky a lot here. 
but that said, my opponent is giving me a chance to get lucky. So this is going to be big. Hit him for three damage and two cards. So blightening you and get back my gray merchant, which is going to do six next turn. Oh, or I can play rats into merchant and just win on the spot. Assuming no life gain or removal happens. God, it is just god awful painful that to get hit by that card. Like that is the last thing you want to happen is to get whacked with the shinobi. <laughs> like it's blightening every turn. <laughs> Now we're way out of range to be burned out, you know. Ephemeron, okay. Which seems like it would help you stabilize, but you know, just like big dorks like that unless they have some kind of something that keeps them from getting killed easily like don't hate on me for this <laughs> but wouldn't benthic giant be better play there like yeah it's only four or five yeah it doesn't have flying but it's hexproof and i can't just like outright kill it um okay so rats Aw, oh, rats. Notably, opponent <laughs> has used more than twice as much time as us. Okay. Rats into Grey Merchant for Xaxes. And that's game 35 to naught. Yeah, so your end game threats are not the right choices. Um, Rancid Earth seems great. Echoing Decay is another way to kill uh, Mull Drifter. That could be better than, say, Tendrils but he does have some big threats there too. Um, Witches seems terrible. And I don't know, Rats is kind of low impact, so we'll cut one of those. Especially against the deck that draws so much. But. Little... Tonight's beverage is Jesus juice, which is, you know, wine and water. All right, get it? Um, so if I was starting with three lands in play, this would be <laughs> pretty much the best hand I could have. But no, we're going to have to mulligan here. And we're going to have to double mulligan. Okay. So let's see if we can win from a double mulligan on the draw. Seems unlikely. <coughs> Although our opponent used exactly half his time to lose last game, so there's no way he beats me two running games unless he just up and decides to play a lot faster now. Okay, Prism. See, that's a good one in that deck. OK, 
Okay. Nice. Uh, sign in blood. Hopefully hitting another swamp. Yes. Next turn I can... I got a lot of options. I can Rancid Earth to break up his Tron. If he just had the natural Tron here. Which, you know, sometimes they have it. Nope. So then I'm probably not going to do that yet. Um, taking a whole turn off to kill a, a tower or something doesn't seem optimal. I'm going to rats him. Slow him down. Sorry about the coughing. I know this match would be a lot more exciting if we were pay playing at a faster pace. But them's the breaks. <laughs> Sometimes people are double queuing or they're just real heavy thinkers or, you know, their wife is yelling at them in their ear, whatever is happening, but, uh, oh, he missed a land drop. Okay. Because of my rats, right? So now I really want to bomb him back to last century, but I'm pretty free to shinobi him here. I mean, if he if, if he has a removal spell here, he gets me. If not, I just set him way, way back. Yep. And, I mean, that's the kind of deck that can win from the back foot. But here I feel like, bam, we've made up for our mulligan, right? So this deck is just mono card advantage. That's all it is. This is taking it back to the... Okay. I, I'm not sure I understand discarding Torch because killing our Shinobi here would have been a pretty good way to use your turn. Otherwise, you're just going to get smashed again. Or do you just have more more removal. Another redundant one. Yeah, redundant one. Okay, that's fine. Sign and blood would be an awesome draw. <coughs> Could go rat sign and blood. Uh, victim is not bad. Let's chitter him again. Chitty chitty bang. <laughs> Let's slow him down. And next turn, since we have a creature in play, um, tempting to just rancid earth is power plant and you know set him way off of Tron right so let's do that Probably would have been better to play Rager or Spectre or something. But uh, I just feel like griefing him might be a way to get him to concede. 
<laughs> and cut this short here because now he's got to find two to activate his Tron making additional yeah see and he drew the map there so he would have been able to assemble it if I draw land here and I can go rats specter and put him on you know one card left that'll be pretty sweet see because there he had to f spend his whole turn fetching out another plant swamp oh the shuffler loves me today it's making up for my standard video <laughs> that I shot yesterday okay discard a card bro what do you got left in your hand some big dumb creature there's a big dumb creature okay see this is what you should have discarded before you know so you could keep the board stable I know I'm playing into electric ray but I already discarded one so why on earth would you discard that now when it's you would kill two of my creatures why I, I really can someone explain to me what's going on here is that other card Mull Drifter? And uh, I mean, still that doesn't stabilize you as much. It's killing off two of my dudes with one card, saving three life a turn. Okay, must have drawn that tower. If it's Ephemeron, you can't cast it. All right. So we've kept our opponent from developing any kind of game plan here, I think. Like torches me. What is this guy doing? Uh Well, certainly not winning. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not on the other side of the table, but I would like to play again against somebody who has the right build and, you know, maybe makes a little bit better play decisions. Doing torching me does absolutely nothing. It just seems like the worst thing you could do there. You know I have all this life gain. Like, that's not a viable way to win. At least Trickery would have killed off two of my dudes. You would have taken a whole lot less damage there. Mall Drifter. Okay. It's not enough. You're still dead on board. Okay. And, you know, just to save time here. So. Sorry, bro. GG is at least he's gracious in defeat here. Um. You know, uh, but uh, I don't think he played to the best of his ability and his list was not optimal. So hopefully, PBXYZ, if you watch this, um, contact me. I'll help you out. Um, but yeah, anyway, well, that was fun. Uh, you see what Mono Black Control can do in Pauper. It's a pretty oppressive, mean-spirited deck, and I enjoy it very much.